Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're in San Leon, Texas outside Pier 6 Seafood and Oyster House. Here we're doing something I've wanted to do for so long. I've never been able to actually finally do one of these and here we are today. I'm pumped. We are doing an oyster challenge, guys, yes. So the rules of this, you have to beat the current oyster record and then we will get the oysters for free. So the current record stands at 14 dozen. So we have to eat 15 dozen or more to get like the oysters for free and actually beat the challenge. What's really, really cool is they actually have a 50 cent oyster night here every Tuesdays and Wednesdays between 4.30 and 6.30, which is nuts. I don't know how they can even do it for that cheap. Uh, that being said, so this place, super, super cool guys. The water is right behind me and gorgeous. Um, this is in between Houston and Galveston, a really nice coastal community. Additionally, all of the actual seafood is coming local. It is like a, what do they call it? Line to table, tied to table, whatever. So it's like coming from the Gulf which is absolutely amazing, guys. So fresh golf oysters, fresh seafood, and a oyster challenge. I'm so excited, guys. So I don't know how we're gonna eat 170 some oysters or whatever it is. Maybe we'll even eat more. I do love oysters, but I've never tried to do this. Let me know if you like raw oysters down below. Yes, and these are raw oysters on the half shell. So this is very similar to a very famous challenge by Adam Richman, Man vs. Food. But uh, yeah, guys, so oysters, that's about it. I'm excited. Let's go see if we can eat 15 dozen, get them for free. And that was head in. Have fun. Let's eat some food. Hi, everybody. So here I am with all the oysters. It's absolutely insane. Like, seriously, guys, I don't even know what to say. I've never seen this many oysters, which are mollusks, technically mollusks. Good thing I like oysters. Don't know if I'll be liking them as much after I've eaten this many. So we do have the two hours to try to at least eat the 15. If we want more, we can get more, but the record again would be 15 if we were able to uh, you know, beat that 14 record, if that makes sense. So anyway, I do have also a huge thing, a mignonette, uh, which they make in house. I have a whole bunch of cocktail sauce. I have some hot sauce. I have lemons. I have saltine crackers. I have, I think, everything I need to go through all this. I have a little oyster fork as well. So that, guys, I got no other words. I'm excited. Let's get started here just momentarily. I've never done anything like this in my life. I don't think many people have. Um, I, like I said, I do have all my stuff down here. I'll probably gotta go through a couple just like as is, and then I'm gonna bring up my uh, mignonette, my horseradishes, my cocktail sauces, and. Uh, Guys, I'm so excited. So actually, maybe I'll start with a little bit of lemon just because how nicely they have this all done up. But anyway, guys, so let's get rocking and a rolling. Probably say, I'm gonna do this. Lemon. First dozen, let's get rocking. Let's say the count of maybe, I can't even see my timer from here. Usually I use my on-screen timer. Let's say five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oysters. Actually, very nice. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Pier 6 doing something I've wanted to do for so long. We're finally doing an oyster challenge. I literally have scouted one of these out for years. This is one of the few types of food challenges kind of left to do that I had not done. And I'm so excited to finally be able to do a crazy oyster challenge like this. I think this may be more difficult than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. So the setup of this challenge is very similar to the world famous uh, challenge that Adam Richmond did back in the original series of Man vs. Food. One dozen down. And like I said, he's come right from over there. I'm gonna grab some, uh, maybe some hot sauce. I'll try these ones with hot sauce. Guys, these are, they're absolutely massive too. Got them some crystal hot sauce. Did you like crystal? Mm. Huge oysters. Look how plump this guy is. Woo! 
so I had to eat at least 15 dozen oysters to set the new record and get them for free um, in the two hour time limit. So this, I just gotta say, is so many oysters. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a huge, 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 huge table full of oysters there. There you go, in case you couldn't see that for yourself. This was just the craziest thing. I truly don't think I've ever eaten 180 oysters even like prior to this in my life. I maybe have eaten 80 in my life prior to this. So this was just something absolutely absurd for me. I understand some people eat oysters all the time, um, you know, casually eat a dozen or two, but man, this was just the craziest thing ever. Um, I was definitely hoping to get, of course, the meal for free if we were able to uh, complete and beat the record. Two dozen down. One thing I will also say. Is these guys are cold. They definitely kept them really, really well and nice. I do some saltines. Now I got some room for some horseradish. I got some room for this mignonette. Let's see what all this is like. I'm excited. I, uh, I love flavors. I got the world's smallest spoon for the world's biggest bowl of mini net. Let's see what this is like. Try it on one. Oh my god. Wow. That mini net. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, guys. This is delicious. Let's definitely deck some of that all over here. Woo! Got some beautiful, like, I'd say vinegar. Maybe a little bit of, uh, well, definitely some onions, some pepper. Oh, there you go. Maybe some wine. That was fantastic. Mm. Try the mignonette. So let's talk about the restaurant now. So San Leon is a very small community. But oh my gosh, beautiful Gulf waters. And this restaurant is honestly, I'd say a hidden gem. It is so exquisite. You just enter and it's this nice sense of sophistication upon the water. They're actually apparently getting like a helipad. Like this place is definitely a good place to stop by. I really enjoyed the food. I enjoyed the atmosphere. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous restaurant. So open, beautiful patio. And not to mention just it was, well, I mean, they had this huge challenge, so of course they had to come by, but ambiance food, 10 out of 10. That is three dozen. That's insane. Guys, I've never eaten more than like maybe 10 oysters in one sitting before. Got some horseradish. I'm a big horseradish person. Some people don't like it. Let me know what you think of it down below. Put that on a couple. Put some mignonette on all these. The staff were also super awesome. They gave me all the accompaniments in these huge portions, like the mignonette, the cocktail sauce. They gave me so many lemons. They made sure I was prepared. And a whole bottle of hot sauce, like they knew what I was looking for, and man, did they ever deliver. I gotta say though, let me know down below if you like oysters, because that is such a controversial food, especially on the half shell. Oh guys, horseradish and oysters, delicious. So in the quest for the free meal, which is only $90, which is a heck of a deal due to their crazy special, um, I believe that's pretty much the majority of the information. So with that, let's tune in and see what happens. Four dozen. This cocktail sauce. Again, huge bowls. No shortage though. Maybe I'll try this uh, cocktail sauce on here. Nice and sweet. Not as uh, not as horseradishy. There's some. Definitely a bit of ketchup in it.
Five dozen. Holy crap. It's kind of crazy to think that I'm like only a third of the way through. I feel like I've eaten a lot of oysters. They are very delicious though, incredibly fresh. But that's a lot. Woo. Ooh, a mini at horseradish and lemon? Ooh, that's a keeper. You can leave them there, actually. You can leave them there if you want. Oh, okay. yeah, let's, sure? yeah, let's see what the stack looks like after. Gotcha. I think it was pretty sure? fun. I think you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, Woo. Six dozen guys, this is it's a little tougher than I thought. I think we're just over 11 minutes in. It's a lot of oysters, wow. I've also never had an oyster on a cracker. Let me try it though, that's a thing down here. I put some, uh, oh. Maybe some hot sauce on it. A little horseradish. Mm. That's really good. Holy crap! Seven dozen into oysters and chill, everybody. That is a lot. There's a lot, a lot of oysters. There's so many here, look, it's still got more. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I will say, I think it's my first time probably having a pristine oyster. I really like them. They're very fresh, tasting. Pier 6 definitely got that down. Well, this is a lot of seafood. A lot of mollusks. Woo. I definitely won't need oysters again for a while after this. I'm gonna have my fill, that's for sure. I'm actually getting cold out here, guys. I'm eating a lot of deliciously cold oysters. Woo. Oh. Seven left. We're officially past the halfway point. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I think we're about maybe 16 minutes in. Whew. I don't know guys, I may have to take a breather. Whew. It's a lot of oysters. Man. Let me know how many oysters you think you can eat down below. This is crazy. Oh, get some more lemon. And some of these guys are huge. Like that is just, wow. They're not even skimping for the 50 cent oysters, which is insane. Like they're not like little ones. These are massive, massive, massive. Whew.
Oh my gosh. Whoa. Six dozen left. Guys, this is work. It's a lot more, uh, a lot more than I envisioned or anticipated. It's crazy to see like just how big of a amount this is. I'm trying to bring these all in. Hope you guys see them all now. Something like that. There you go. Holy crap. Right. Coming on 22 minutes into oysters and chill. One thing's for sure, I don't need a lot of drinks. They're already so moist. That's how I'm going to describe them. Some people might use the term slimy for oysters, but eh, I don't know. Do you think they're slimy? I don't know. Maybe a little. Beautiful uh, sunset happened here, by the way. Gorgeous view. Just saying. They also apparently say oysters are an aphrodisiac. I don't know. What do you, like, if, if, if that was the case, I think I'd be a little caliente after this, but I'm gonna say that's not true. I'm gonna say it's not true. Hostile professional. Is that true? Could be. Oh, dear God, guys. Well, we'll see what happens later. No, I'm just kidding. We're definitely going to get our fill of zinc and iodine today. They were absolutely right about this mini net, though. Mini net is fire. You guys were absolutely right. Ten dozen in. One hundred and twenty oysters. Guys, I never thought I'd be saying I've eaten that many oysters. That's probably like about the amount I've eaten in my whole life. Oh. That is a lot. Oh. All right. Let's keep on going, everybody. See what we can do. It's only getting tougher, so. On a positive note, everybody, I can honestly say, there we go. I think that works. Anyway, as I was saying, on a positive note, I think this is probably the lowest calorie food challenge I've ever done. Oysters are really low in calories. Good source of protein, too. Eat your oysters, kids. Just not this many. All right. Oh. Four dozen left. I can now see the finish line. Woo! I can now fit the lemons up if I want. I love how they also like wrap these lemons. Man, the end is Kind of near. Kind of. Whew. About 26.45, I think. Whew. 
Yeah, I honestly believe this is probably the same amount of oysters I've eaten in my life. Maybe even more. So we just doubled that. Also, shout out to the staff. They have been like above and beyond friendly. They've been super, super, super courteous. Especially with me making a mess. All right, guys. Three left. Oh, uno, dos, tres. Good thing they're good oysters. That is for sure. Woo. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I pretty much use all the mini that. I love this stuff. Onions, pepper. Wow. I am cold, guys. These are some cold oysters. Delicious, though. But, woo. All right. Two left. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. This is one of those times where you're like, I, lo I, I love something so much, I want an infinite amount. You don't really need this many in this sitting, but I mean, apparently there's people that come in every week and order like eight to 10 dozen. I love all these accompaniments. I'm really glad I have the mini net, the horseradish cocktail sauce, the lemon. Very good. Last one. Last, but not least. We've gone through the realm, the realm of oysters, everybody. Really delicious. I'm gonna deck these ones out just a tiny little bit more. A little horseradish. A little bit of hot sauce. Last two, everybody. Oh my gosh. What's that, 180, 180 oysters, I think? Woo! Here we go. Guys, all the mignonette. I lied, I got two more. I almost missed them. I don't want to do that. So 79.
And that, guys, we are done. Woo. Huh. Crazy. About 38 minutes of oysters and chill. I have never eaten oysters for that long in my life. I gotta say though, actually I, the, the ones I decked out at the end, I wish I would have did them all like that. The cocktail sauce, the hot sauce, the mini net. Oh, delicious little horseradish. Guys, first off, I want to give a huge thanks over here, Pier 6. This was super, super cool. I'm so glad we were able to do this today. The oysters were really, really good. Again, those prestige oysters. Super fresh, literally come from the waters right here. Those golf oysters, I really enjoyed them. They are very, very plump. They are very, very meaty. I really liked them. I got no complaints. Shout out that mignonette. That is absolutely delicious. Like seriously, it's so good, I'll lick the bowl. I can't believe I used that whole dish. That was probably like, I don't know, over half a liter of mignonette. But yeah, that was amazing. So that we do get the oysters for free. Um, which I guess would, at 50 cents is only about $90, which is insane. Normally I think these are about $16 a dozen, and even that's a lot cheaper than most places. I go places often, and I, they're like three, at least $3 a piece. So, I mean, that's like still over half the cost. Again, huge thanks to the staff. They've been absolutely amazing here. Super, super cool. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we got a couple people here. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. We got dinner and a show. But uh, yeah, guys, gotta say San Leon, amazing place. I'm gonna spend the night out here, watch this amazing sunset. I'm gonna try to show it to you guys real quick. And uh, that was it. I came, I saw, I ate oysters. Really, really, it was very, very good. So everyone, until next time, of course, we're happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do. You don't need to eat this many in one sitting, but you definitely could come and get your fill at the 50 cent oysters here, that is for sure. So, whew. I think I need a, I don't know if I need a nap or what I need. I'm gonna figure out what I need. Maybe something warm. And uh, that everyone, that's about it. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, let me know down below. Of course, until next time, have a lovely day. Six and a half hours later. Oh boy, what time is it? Man, I don't know if I want to get up. I feel a little funny after all those oysters. Ah! And right down the road, actually, the uh, restaurant, Pier 6, they have some properties. So guys, they told me to check these out. These are amazing, just saying. Look at this, look at this view. Like, it is right on the water. I don't even know how, how and if I can... Oh, that is a blind. I don't know how to get out here. I'm sure there's some way to get out here. It's locked, but anyway, there's some way. But look at this, everybody. Look, like, like, it is literally on the water. I don't think I've ever seen a place more on the water than this. Like, there's, this is above, like, right at the end of that, the deck is water. And there's always some great big uh, wharf. If you had a boat, you could dock it out there like those neighbors did. It goes all the way out there. So that's super, super cool. But yeah, this is cool. I mean, talk about, you know, ability to stay right on the water. So <laughs> this is really, really nice. Super cool spot here. I like it. And if you stay here, apparently you get 20% off all your meals. Pretty nice. And here we are. Walking out onto said water. There's the place we were just in. Pretty cool, everybody. I like, uh, it's so cool how close it is. Gorgeous. Over there, uh, on the skyline over here, that's Houston. So you can see Houston. Very, very nice.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.